Right, so here we are at the FEMS Conference on Microbiology in Belgrade, Serbia. And I have with me a speaker from the plant microbiology session, which we've had this afternoon, Alexa Abradovic. And uh, I have a few questions for you, just to talk to him after his uh, session. And my first question for you is, what's it like being at the conference? How's the feel and have you enjoyed getting to meet people in real life again? Oh, it's uh, really exciting to meet people here all uh, together and uh, talk with them uh, live and exchange ideas, uh, new things that were happening in the past and discuss uh, current results and uh, future ideas. It's a great atmosphere, it's a nice uh, uh, surrounding and nice uh, facility here. We have very good attendance, lots of people attending the session. There was a really nice and fruitful discussion during the session, uh, indicating that uh, speakers and talks were carefully chosen and uh, they presented very interesting results. Wonderful. And uh, could you give me just a brief overview of your talk that you just gave this afternoon? Oh, okay. Uh, my talk was about one uh, uh, section of biological control of plant pathogenic bacteria. We are dealing with uh, bacteria causing uh, diseases of plants, agricultural crops, but also ornamentals uh, and horticulture. We are trying to develop a biologically based uh, strategy for controlling this since there are no efficient uh, chemical treatments or other means of controlling these pathogens. So we are using uh, natural enemies, viruses that infect and kill bacteria, uh, called bacteriophages. They are uh, distributed uh, in uh, different environments. Uh, actually, they are uh, the most present bio, uh, uh, biologicals on the planet. Uh, they've been isolated from uh, different uh, ecosystems. They are present in a human body as well. And uh, naturally, they are responsible for controlling bacterial populations. So we found those that are uh, pathogenic to uh, bacteria that uh, attack plants, and we are trying to use them uh, in plant protection. However, everything looks pretty straightforward and uh, harmonized by nature, but when we want to put our fingers in this pathosystem, uh, it is not going uh, straight forward. There are some uh, difficulties and we are doing research to overcome these difficulties and make this strategy available for application in practice. Okay, and uh, so what's the next step in your research after this phase? Well, we are uh, doing this research for years, but I can't say that we are uh, knocking on the door of a final solution. We still have a way to go uh, to uh, develop a strategy that will be applicable. There are some results, uh, like in the United States, uh, uh, bacteriophages are applied in control of tomato bacterial spot, but uh, many, many other examples and uh, things in uh, agriculture uh, open the door for this uh, strategy. So we need to investigate the possibility of using phages and protect them from uh, negative effect of environmental conditions. We need to improve uh, their uh, interaction with the bacteria and their persistence, their survival uh, abilities and develop tactics how to use them efficiently and uh, uh, achieve uh, good results that will be acceptable for farmers and uh, we expect uh, the effects of uh, using this strategy will be acceptable by uh, the consumers because this is all biologically based with no residues, no harm to uh, higher organisms or for humans, etc. Okay, so recently I've kind of fallen in love with bacteriophages. I think they're one of the coolest things out there. But I was going to ask you, what's your favorite microbe? Uh, well, uh, I can't say that I um, uh, differentiate myself uh, emotionally toward microbes. Uh, and uh, I mostly attach myself to those uh, economically important. So. I can say I'm uh, interest driven. So those that are uh, posing uh, biggest problem in agriculture, 
those are the ones I am mostly interested in because of their importance and my willingness to find a solution, to, to control them. Uh, so I, I have no uh, favorite or I may have a favorite for a while while we are doing research and then with the new project or new problem uh, I will switch. <laughs> so which uh, bacteriophage is the most interesting right now in your research? Well we did the most uh, on uh, using bacteriophages in controlling uh, pepper and tomato uh, pathogens. These uh, vegetable species suffer from uh, bacteria, pathogenic bacteria and it's a problem all over the world. So we are trying to address this important problem uh, affecting farmers' incomes and uh, profit, uh, success of their production uh, using this strategy and the most work has been done on uh, this pathosystem but uh, we also did some work on uh, studying bacteriophages uh, specific to Ervinia amylovara, this is bacterium causing fire blight of uh, pomaceous fruits and also some other plant pathogenic bacteria that may be uh, very, very important in the future. Well, thanks a lot for your time and for giving us a bit of a rundown of your research. Uh, I've been chatting to Alexa Obradovic from the University of Belgrade, so this is your hometown in terms of your yeah. research and your place. And uh, yeah, thanks for joining us at the famous conference in Belgrade, Serbia. Thank you very much for the opportunity to talk about my research and uh, about this conference. It was my pleasure to talk to you.